Hey kings and queens, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing collard green egg rolls, which are my mom's favorite. It's funny, this is not one of the recipes that I planned on doing, but this is one of the things that my mom asked me to make for her every week. I love it. I love making it for her. I love that she loves it, and I'm glad that I'm able to do this for her. So this recipe is for mom. Okay, so let's get started. Today's spice rack, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and Cajun seasoning. The full ingredient list can be found in the description box below. Grab a red cabbage and one eighth of a cup of red onion. I shredded one carrot and we minced four garlic cloves and then we put it all together in the bowl. Uh, at this point, you're gonna mix it. We mixed all the ingredients together. I have not put any of the seasonings in yet, but we just continue to mix it uh, to make sure it's evenly distributed. Also, you're gonna add about one cup of frozen collard greens. Two tablespoons of olive oil, heat it up, and then you're going to stir fry the mixture. This is where the seasonings begin to come in. I added the garlic to the bottom of the bowl first, so I had to ensure I got it all out of the bowl. That's what this extra scraping is for to make sure I have all of the flavor in these wonderful egg rolls. So now you're gonna stir the stir fry and then the first ingredient I added was a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Next I added the same, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I added a full teaspoon of the Weedat Cajun seasoning. Now you remove the mixture from the pot, put it in a bowl and set it aside to cool. Add your oil to your pan you're getting ready to use. Grab your egg roll wraps and then now we're going to proceed to wrap them. So you add two tablespoons of mixture into the egg roll. You have the egg roll sitting diagonally and then when you fold it, you're going to fold it like an envelope. You're going to start on the bottom. You're going to roll up covering the mixture and then you're going to roll the sides over. I can show you better than I can tell you. So you hold it and then you fold it. It resembles an envelope. That's a container of water. I use water to seal it. Some people use egg wash and then they put egg wash on the outside of the egg roll. When I was doing the vegan thing, I was using water. I'll do a couple more so you can get the hang of what I'm doing. <laughs> You can see I've started to fry them. Now I'm turning them over. You can fry them for about four to five minutes on each side. And this is the second batch. I did three different batches. Like, I, you don't understand. My mom loves these things so much. She literally wants them every week. She eats it with whatever meal she's eating. She doesn't care what she's eating. And then she'll have two in the morning for breakfast with her coffee. She is the cutest thing. Um, so yeah, I gotta make sure I have them fresh. She doesn't want old ones. She wants them fresh. Cause my mom gets down like that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just getting them prepared and then so I did three batches. Once you drain on a paper towel, then you can eat. You can add it to any meal of your choice, but like my mom, you could have it by itself. She normally has them two per setting. I'm just glad that I'm available and able to make them for her every week. She loves to eat them with this chili sauce that I purchased from the store with them. It's quite good. It's good now, don't get me wrong, it is good. But I'm glad mom loves them. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by my channel and we'll be cooking again soon. Bye.